morning and it's day 11 of our road trip in America and um, 8 o'clock in the morning and we're just about to head off from San Francisco to Eureka which is a, like a small town on the west coast of America um, heading up towards Seattle so Google Maps says it's 268 miles and it's 4 hours 30 but that's not going to happen it's probably going to be about 7 or 8 hours depending on how many times we stop and um, it should be a, should be interesting oh and also we're going to um, drive over the Golden Gate Bridge which is going to be fun I'll we'll check that out Well, we just stopped at a small little town called Windsor for a petrol stop. We'll just have a little drive through, see if we can find the town centre. Little Christmas trees everywhere. Is this supposed to, to say something? We're like, ah, and all these ashes came back and we're like, and I'm like, they go, that wasn't my favorite. And then they're like, oh, they're a little bit of my Monday. See, everything seems to open up really late here in America, like 11 o'clock. We're here about just after 9. Windsor Road. Yeah. It's a cool wine tasting lounge. We're just too early, everything like, opens at 11. We just stopped off at a, let's do a start again. We just stopped off at a rest area. Um, this is about 10 miles from Leggett, which seems to be a small town. There was just a truck in front of us that seemed to be expunging everything out of its back. I don't know what it was, it looked like corn. So uh, it was quite hard to um, overtake it because of single lane roads. But anyway, um, a little rest stop here and go for a little walk. So some trick to opening it. What does it want you to do? Put your ooh. You want to put your hand Inside, in there? There'll be yeah. spiders. <laughs> Scary. Driving north to Eureka was along the Oregon Coastal Highway or US 101. Um, this road basically runs through California, Oregon, and all the way up to, to Washington. And um, it's one of the more enjoyable parts of the uh, the road trip because we were leaving at the kind of urban cities and getting back more to nature. Um, and this area was famous for the, all the redwood trees as well. Just before a small town called Leggett in Northern California, we came across the Memorial Grove, which housed the Chandelier drive through Tree. Um, this was a bit of an unexpected find, but it was really cool. Um, down the bottom here, there was a giant redwood tree that had been cut out, and um, apparently you could drive through it. I was too scared to drive through it because I had a, a rental car, and I didn't want to risk it. Hi there. Good, how are you? Not too bad. Grab some cash. Mm. Quarter of a mile. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. 
What was to the right there? Uh, the exit. The exit, okay. Just quarter of a mile. I can actually drive through there, but. Pretty big tree. Is he gonna make it? Get little girls, give him a little space. Come on. Thank you. Yep, good girl. <laughs> Just made it. We were doing a trip in December, which is um, pretty much the middle of winter in California here. And um, the further north we got towards Oregon and Seattle, the colder it was getting. And um, we came across our first hint of frost and ice. Icy. Ooh. I touch it. Wow. The ice. Oh shit. country town called Gaberville. Um, I just, um, it's a little side road here, this nice little valley, so I took my drone down there and uh, did some footage, it's quite nice. Let's have a drive through the town. Okay, we arrived at our hotel in Eureka and we wanted to try the hotel brand called Super 8. It looked kind of really dodgy and it was kind of like um, uh, the, probably the cheapest hotel you can you can get. And um, I think the history was, I don't know, when it was like 50s and 60s, it used to be $8 a night. That's why it was named Super 8. Um, now I think it's like $88 or something like that, $90. Anyway, I'll show you. Um, it's actually been renovated, so it's pretty good. Well, this particular one's been renovated. Quite a big room. And the bathroom's been done. Bathroom, quite nice. 
but then for some reason they decided to leave this really shitty old fridge in here. They should have, re should have replaced the fridge. Anyway. On our road trip, Jinko wanted to stay in a roadside motel, so this is it. This is Motel 8. Check out our dodgy hotel. Dodgy part of town. Busy street and and uh, Chevron. Eureka is a coastal town between San Francisco and the Oregon border. It was originally a gold mining town, but it soon became a lumber town. During this period of riches, many Victorian ornate buildings were built. And um, this particular Victorian building coming up now is called the Carlson Mansion, which was built in the 1880s for a wealthy lumber merchant. The biggest and most ornate and most spectacular Victorian buildings um, were all built up against the river here. So it was, it was a beautiful spot. And even this, this pink house here, that was amazing. Ah, uh, beautiful jetties. Eureka is um, it's quite a spooky town. I mean, we were walking along here and we did not expect to see this horse and carriage, you know, strolling down the road. Um, it was almost out of a Halloween movie. This was the town centre, you know, it's full of um, you know, cafes, restaurants and shops and um, it was kind of uh, almost Christmas time as well, so a lot of people were out doing their Christmas shopping. The centre. And this was our um, visit to Eureka. Uh, only one night and we arrived a bit too late. Um, we headed off to Denny's to, to grab a dinner. Um, but we had to head off early again the next morning um, heading towards Portland.